Pretty nice, huh? A perfect view of paradise. What's funny is until last century, this place was nothing but a taro field, far as the eye could see. Agriculture was about the only industry keeping this island afloat. Then the white man came along and saw an opportunity. They crushed the fields, brought in sand by the boatload from sunny California. And what was it all for? Some fancy-ass resort built for some fancy-ass sons of bitches. That paradise you see, it's all smoke and mirrors from sea to shiny sea. Yeah, what's your point? It ain't obvious. <laughs> I'm saying a fake can hold more value than even the genuine article. Ichiba Kasuka. High time you met the head of the Barracudas. Name's Dwight. Nice to know I've made a name for myself out here. I actually hold quite a bit of respect for the Japanese people. About a hundred years ago, a number of your people immigrated to my country. They helped plow our farmlands and our country proper. How about that? Nonetheless, I'm surprised you made it this far. That being said, it's not you I'm surprised with now. The real surprise is your spunky little friend. You got gut. Betraying me like that. Sorry, Ichiban. You know how I told you I escaped after they found me looking through the boss's study? That was a lie. The truth is, I actually got caught. And just in time, Katsuka. It was right as you barged in. So I gave Chitose here a choice. She could die then and there, or she could do me a favor. A favor? Remember what I said? About how I might be leading you guys into danger or a trap or something. That... I, um... I meant it. What? She did. And it seems our deal fell through. She led you away from my trap. And as a result, you ended up here. Face to face. With yours truly. I see. That was at that elevator. All right. She said she made a wrong turn. I may as well ask. Chitose, why a change of heart? <sighs> Kasuga seemed like the better choice. Not much more complicated than that. I mean, have you seen how dumb this guy is? Huh? I've never met someone so sincere in my entire life. I had no way of knowing whether you'd keep me alive. Even if I did follow your orders. Kasuga, however, is a different story. I don't think he's even smart enough to cheat someone. Gee, how nice. Really? Tell me this. Do you know what happens to those who betray me? <sighs> who gives? Dios mío. Who would have thought a Fujinomiya would be such a troublemaker? You must cause your parents a lot of headaches. How did you know? Did you expect me not to? The Barracudas have businesses with people all over the world. We would be remiss not to keep tabs on those in power. Besides, it was obvious from the start. The moment I first saw you, I knew you were just another spoiled brat. I figured I could use you, so I kept you around. <laughs> 
I could kill Kasika and the others anytime. But I drew you in for one simple reason. Their death would have been on you. And few things are so obedient as a guilty conscience. So it goes, I suppose. Don't worry, I won't kill you. No. <laughs> I'll make you my bargaining chip and bleed your family like a stuck pig. You bastard! Appreciate the kind words, Chichan. Here you go again, Ichiban. You sure you're not mad? What for? I made the choice to trust you, remember? <sighs> you really are an idiot, you know that? All right, enough chit chat. Hey, 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 hang on. I still got unfinished business. Dwight, remember the robbery that happened on October 7th, 2012? The target was Connie Tanaka, CEO of a well-known real estate company. On her way to visit a business partner, her car was attacked, and a bag of money was stolen. And what's that to you? I'm the one they took in for it, even though they had next to no evidence. Oh. You were the fall guy. <laughs> you saved me a lot of trouble. So you admit it? You sicked Roman on me. Had him pin your crimes on me. <laughs> hey, who can say? <laughs> Dwight, there's something I want to ask too. You were looking for a woman named Akane, right? Be straight with me. You guys have already found her, haven't you? Only thing I'll do for you is offer you a way out. In fact, it's the quickest way I know. Cut to pieces and stuffed in a body bag. You know what this baby is? A machete. One of the most useful tools there is. It makes short work of the jungle. Not to mention animals. And here in Hawaii, it's perfect for gutting fish. Bring it on! I think it's time I showed you what this blade of mine can do! Ready to bleed? Alright! 
I can do this. Learning more every day. Guess I'm a fast learner. <laughs> <laughs> 